Good evening. Tonight, you can add another country to the growing list of nations being hit by uprisings. The latest demonstrations are aimed at a government and have been going on now for, well, almost a year. And still, they persist. These are some of the latest pictures that we have been able to get out of there. We're going to tell you which is the latest country that seems to be in a rage this in just a moment. But we're going to begin with a new strain of HIV. It's the first time a new strain has been discovered in almost two decades. The strain has a name, by the way. It's called HIV-1 Group M subtype L. The strain itself does not worry scientists because it's it's very similar to uh, regular HIV, at least in terms of the treatment that uh, somebody who is afflicted would receive. But the discovery of this new strain explains why there is no vaccine for HIV. In fact, there may never be a vaccine. Scientists say the HIV virus is simply too diverse. And because it's constantly evolving, Researchers have to constantly try and stay ahead of it without any cure-all on the horizon. According to the latest figures from the World Health Organization, roughly 40 million people worldwide have HIV. 62% are receiving treatment in one form or another. The fear is, what happens if the virus continues to evolve in ways that preclude the treatments presently being used? That's the problem, and that's the question that many are asking tonight. We will break this down for you in the latest strain here on the news with Rick Sanchez, where we believe it is time to do news again.